Uh, John, yeah, superb. From start to finish, I felt a 4 0 win against a team who were in the play or in and around the playoffs as well. A great, a great day. Yeah, no, listen, I'm really happy, really happy. I think the lads worked exceptionally hard today against a team who were really good. I think the scoreline probably didn't do them justice because they're a great side and I've got a lot of respect for their manager and I know full well that he set them up today to, to try and do a job on us and, and I think we were just the better side. I think we just had the individuals like Kai Evans who make a massive difference and uh, Kai listen has scored three brilliant goals by the way. They're all brilliant goals. I know the last one might be a mistake from the centre half but it's a great finish. Um, and Kai's had to almost bide his time in terms of the, the chances because a lot of teams now, and this is one thing I keep telling Kai, is a lot of teams will set themselves up to defend specifically against players like Kai. Yeah. And when that happens, it means that we're one, doing a pretty good job, and two, we've got some pretty handy players. You know, So I think Kai's had to be patient for his opportunities. But today, you see what just happens when, when he gets that flow going, and he gets that momentum, he just keeps on scoring. Mm -hmm. and, and hopefully, he'll keep on doing that for us. Yeah, yeah for the first goal, I noticed that on the goal kick, I think you swip, switched uh, Kai and Callum on the wings, and then straight away, Callum goes down one side, crosses in, and Kai scores somehow at that far post. <laughs> yeah, listen, I'll take the assist for that. Yeah. But uh, no, no, I, I think it's important that you do rotate it every now and then because it gives the defender something to, to think about at least. Um, not to say that what, what they were doing beforehand wasn't working because I thought they had some really good opportunities and they were causing problems. I think Callum on his left foot was able to just get down the byline and put a great cross into the back post and we've been, we've been trying to tell Kai to come inside, tuck in a little bit and, and he does it in that occasion and gets himself a goal. And Listen, I, I think Cal, Callum did really well when he came in today and it's not easy, he hasn't played, well, he played on Tuesday night but he's not played in the league game properly for a while, post his hamstring injury, so it's not easy to come into a pretty fast paced game against obviously fifth in the table and a, a real good side, so I thought Callum did well and then you look at the end there, we brought on Tweeds, Joel and, and Joe Robbins in that midfield and we were joking about it there but there's three rats in there. Mm. God, I'd hate it <laughs> if I was playing against a team and I saw three lads like that come on in their midfield threes that. And it just goes to show what sort of squad we've got here. You know, there's so much strength coming in from anywhere. And, and I said it on Tuesday night, listen, I was really disappointed with the result but I stand behind the fact that that starting team that I played on on the Tuesday night, I, I'd feel comfortable with playing it on a, on a Saturday. And that just goes to show the strength and depth that we've got. And I talk about what I want to do this season and I want to be successful. This group wants to be successful. A lot of people will define how, how well, we'll define success differently mm. and we'll define it in one way, which we won't share, but we'll keep it between us. But to, to do that and be successful, you've got to, you've got to be a group. It's not just 11 players, it's 16, it's the management staff, it's the lads who don't, don't get involved, the lads who are injured, and it's really important, the club involved as well. You know, it's really important that we're all together. And I think we've been together for the last five or six weeks and, and, and the score lines and the results have reflected that. I think you've got to mention James's contribution to the third goal. What a run that was down the right. Yeah, well, listen, it reminded me of Congleton, you know, when he scored yeah. that goal first off. And it's one of those things where, again, we talk about teams setting themselves up to almost nullify our, our I don't know, explosiveness, because that's probably what you'd, you'd refer to that run from James. And it's been difficult for him as well. He's not been able to push on as much. They've been pushing us back with wingers and, and what have you. So it's been relatively difficult. But when you've got good players in your squad who have got a bit of brains about them, which they do, you wouldn't, you, you wouldn't believe it, but they have got some brains in there. They, they can find ways of, I don't know, distorting things and, and making their own games there. And today, James was brilliant, not just on that goal, but defensively as well, because they have some really good players. And I'll go back to it, Staley Bridge aren't a, a bad football side at all, and they'll do really well this year. They've got a great manager and they've got a great group of lads. And we've, I wouldn't say turned them over, but we really gave them a, a good game there, you know, and, and I thought we thoroughly deserved the, the win, thought we d thoroughly deserved the scoreline. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy, the lads are really happy, and yeah, we've got to go into it next Saturday and uh, put on the same performance. That's great, yeah. Cheers, Sean.